Hey, it's Paul with CP Addict again. Still out here at Beach Grove Fire Department with their 95F Super Duty brush truck. Today we got Brother with us. He is the training chief, training correct? Chief. So, kind of backstory on you is you're from East End Volunteer Fire Department, which bought this truck new originally. So you know yeah. kind of a lot of the back history on it, things like that, and kind of kind of its life of service to a certain extent because. You were younger than me when the truck was bought. Five. <laughs> yeah, so you were five years old when the truck was bought new, but you've been there. You grew up in the fire department with the truck. You were there when it was new, even though you were five. You were still going with your dad, I know, kind of like I was going with mine. Um, so last year, I guess it was, East End got a new brush truck. Yeah, they got a grant from the Forest Service for a new truck. And then, you know, Beach Grove was coming up and they yeah. needed a brush truck. So it was kind of a fill a need, see a need type thing. And, you know, here it is because obviously East End took care of the truck and maintenance it regular and put it all together. So I, like I said in the other video, this truck was two wheel drive, bought new here in Jasper and it was sent out to Quigley, yeah, right? Quigley. After they got it back from Quigley, the department, from what I understand, now you can help me clarify this, bought the bed. Yeah. And, did they buy the skid unit or did they have it built or? Uh, they bought the skid unit from West Tex. West Tex Fire? Yes, sir. What are, what are the specs on the? Uh, it's a 250 gallon a minute pump on it and, a five, and the tank's 525 gallons. So 525 gallons of water on this truck with a 250 GPM pump. And you said the truck, you've, you've been up to 80 miles an hour in it responding to a fire call before, right? <laughs> yes, sir. So it's still, it's still, gets down the road and it's no slouch getting to and, and from fire scenes. So uh, I'm looking inside right now. I can see that it's a five speed. So five speed and four wheel drive, do you know how many miles are? It's about 13,000 miles. So 13,000 original miles, been maintenance its whole life, 460 truck. Yes, sir. Um, it's got the, the Warren transformer on the front with the Warren winch on it. And it's pretty much like it was the day East End got it new as we see it right now, yes, correct? Sir. So if I understand this correct, y'all have got another brush truck that you're actually putting together right now. Yes, sir. And once it's put together, this truck is actually going to go under the knife and be, quote unquote, <clears throat> rehabbed. It's going to get a new paint job, new, is it getting a new pump, new tank, new? Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to keep the same skid unit. I'm not 100% I'm not sure what, what our plans are with that is right now. Okay, kind of, it's still up in the air yeah. what, what's going to go on for that, but, uh, the plan basically for this thing is to keep it another 25 years in this yes, department. Sir. Because for my understanding on it is y'all don't see the need to to get rid of it because the truck is has got such good potential and y'all are planning on keeping it for another 25 years in service in this department because yes, it is such a workhorse unit and it has been for the last 25 years. Yes, so <clears throat> sweet. Well, I really appreciate you coming out and taking yes, the time sir. today to show us the truck and tell us a little bit about it. And uh, I get with Seth and maybe Seth can uh, get some drone footage out and. We'll catch some of the inner workings of this truck and a few inside shots and underhood shots, things like that. So appreciate everybody watching. So we appreciate Beach Grove letting us come out and look at their fire truck, interview their guys today, being able to put this on our channel. 
But as always, it takes money to run these departments. And if anybody feels so inclined to donate some money to their cause, to help fund their equipment, maintenance on the truck, anything like that, this is a little out of the norm for us, but it's, it's for a worthwhile cause. Their address is 10230 FM 777, Jasper, Texas 75951. And if you do send in money, Jamie Gunner, the fire chief here, will send you an autographed picture of himself back in the mail. Stay tuned.